Hello, this is ASMR Vibes. Welcome back to another video. Apologies, guys. I was recording this for the last 40 minutes and did not have the recording software set up correctly. So my voice has been recording, but the visuals have not. Um, so here we are. Uh, for anyone that's coming in from the last video, I had uh, built up a fleet to go attack Greece. And as you see, I have been pretty successful in doing so. I took out Fair Solos, and I've also upgraded from the Galias units to Indian, or rather to frigates. So all the units here are upgraded, and I am now going on to Nosos. I've decided that um, since Sparta is a land-based city, they don't have any ocean tiles it might be a little more difficult to attack them. We could maybe put a, a frigate there, but one frigate at a time, it would take a while to damage Sparta enough. So that's where we're at. I hope I've done a good job summarizing. And another quick thing, guys, um, please make sure to uh, leave feedback. If there's anything I could be doing better, I'd love to know. So absolutely like or dislike and let me know why. Um, just because I'm, I'm new to recording and just want to see where I can, I can fix. Maybe my audio is too high or too low and so forth. So without further ado, let's jump back into this. Um, we do have a great engineer um, waiting for the next wonder to come up. Um, so that is exciting as well. All right, so instead of fortifying these, I think I'll send most of these units down south uh, for two reasons, really. One, to get rid of these barbarians, because um, they are a little bit of a nuisance. We're going to need to bring through maybe four or five pikemen through this channel and um, take out to take out Gnosis. Um, so they're going to help out a lot in lowering their defense. And as you can see, we'll be able to get one, two, three frigates. All right. Yeah, we do have a lot of uh, great artists and musicians as well. So we'll fortify them. I suppose with the Privateer, um, they get gold whenever they uh, attack cities. So uh, it might be a risky move, though, since there is still a warship there. So we'll fortify them for now. Or perhaps have him trail so that ship doesn't come out and attack us. All right, and they'll pull security. Yeah, guys, I was kicking myself, though. I just had uh, 40 minutes of uh, video recorded, and the way I have it set up is I'm using the uh, OBS program that I think a lot of people use. And uh, I looked over to the right and saw a black screen. <laughs> oh, it hurt. It hurt. So that's all right, though. I was considering loading back, but I've done so much work uh, in taking over the city that I felt, um, you know, I felt like I just couldn't go back. I'm sure you understand. Oh, we have a battle here. Yeah, that might be an even battle. Uh, 14 strength. No, pikemen are stronger. All right, so yeah, we have our warships coming down here, and uh, once this guy heals up, um, we're also going to promote him to a frigate. That is another thing that happened from the last episode, so I had um, moved all my uh, Gallius warships over here, ready and priming to attack, but then they um, we 
got to the next technology uh, tree to where we could upgrade them to frigates. All right. Uh, spread religion. I suppose we can just go out here and build a, another religious building. Yeah, they're going to have a hard time taking this from us now. Let's see here. All right. We really have the upper hand here, too, because um, these frigates are so much more powerful. It really does make a difference. All right. For now, those archers had retreated, so that's a good sign. Although I'm sure they'll come back. And look at that. We have another city that we can take from Greece. And we'll just continue to make them uh, puppets for the time being. He's not very weak. We'll send him out. All right. Let's see what kind of terrain we're dealing with. Uh, tundra, hills, forest, or jungle. No hills, forest, or jungle. They don't really say if tundra is uh, rough terrain. I would imagine it is. All right, so we have uh, one pikeman there. So essentially the plan is... Um, if I had mentioned already, to get four or five pikemen uh, over to Gnosis or Gnosis. And uh, once the frigates weather down the city, the pikemen will move in and uh, capture it. Because I don't think the frigate's going to uh, capture a city without having some kind of land unit there. All right, so they uh, will go ahead and keep building pikemen for now. He's just going to heal because this, uh, yeah, this is going to be an easy solution here. So that takes care of most of them or all of them. Good job. All right. And then they could build a pikeman as well. So, and instead we'll have them on pikemen, that should take care of it. Okay, so this city is pretty well protected. They're not going to be able to uh, do anything. In fact, uh, they can't even really... Um, one, two, one, two, so we can go here without being attacked by Athens. Caravel, send him in. And then the uh, privateer to finish the job. Now that might backfire because the crossbowmen and oh, and look at that it looks. Oh right, that is so neat, guys. I had forgotten about that. The um, privateers capture um, enemy ships, so what a boon to be able to do so. All right, they are fortified, so so far so good. Let me just get a drink here. And yeah, so I am out of uh, carbonated water. I'm a little sad at the fact. I had uh, lime and uh, passion fruit from Aldi's. I usually sw uh, swap my shopping habits between Aldi's and Costco for all of you adults out there. All right, and yeah, their defense is so low. It's um, it's kind of impressive how low it is. Yeah, and that worked as a nice diversionary tactic because now we don't lose our own ship. In a strange way, Vancouver just took their own ship out uh, that happened to have an Indian flag on it. All right, so now we have enough pikemen to start sending them over, so let's do so. 
There's one. There's two. Did he move yet? I think he did. Oh, no, he didn't. One, two, three, uh, four, five. All right, so that gets us some more gold. Yeah, they're they're quite powerless to stop us until they uh, get that warship upgrade out to frigates. In the meantime, we will continue to uh, abuse the situation. Um, yeah, having FECs there will affect us a little bit because the unit that ultimately ends up here is going to get attacked by two cities. So we'll have to plan this out accordingly. All right. Now we can focus on a few other things. So this is going to help us tremendously. Let's go ahead and get steel out of the way. Um, yeah, I suppose that's best. What else do we have here? Yeah, we'll do the boarding party. We'll back them up a little bit. And we'll also get our privateer out of, uh, out of reach. We could try and straddle along here with a few units, um, specifically the pikemen. See how we can do that. All right, we'll bring him in. There we are. All right, so yeah, it will take maybe four or five turns before we can do what we need to do as far as bringing those pikemen down, but I think it'll go pretty well. It's actually turning out to be an easier um, assault on Greece. And we have another trading route, I think, because of uh, the economy uh, research tab. So let's see, we're at plus 18. Let's see what that bank gets. It's, it's plus 25% in our largest city. And I know it's at plus gold for maybe additional trade routes, if I'm not mistaken. So plus 10 more gold. That's that's a big hit there. Um, okay. So yeah, absolutely. Let's build another bank. Okay, and we're just going to have them hang out for a little while. Well, this is where it gets a little tough. Um... I'm pretty sure once we bring in those three frigates to attack, it will only take a few turns to get them down to zero. So it should go according to plan. Um, so yeah, let's let's keep doing what we're doing here. Yeah, this choke point is really helping out Greece right now. I could try and take Sparta out. <laughs> oh no, buddy. <laughs> I'm not done with you yet. If you recall, he um, attacked us earlier in the game in the second episode. Um, so he's not just getting off easy. Yeah, absolutely, Polynesia. Don't know what that really means, but happy to do so. Looks like Greece has another city. They're going to spring up on the Barbarian Isle. That um, will actually create another issue for us. It should be an easy issue to solve, but we might have to spare a pikeman or two um, to take care of it. Let's see where they went. Hmm. Let's send him off. Don't see him. Okay. We'll 
to the seaport. Do open terrain this time. Alright, we're going to promote him to a frigate. Privateer can hang out for now. Same for the caravel. Alright, let's really start bringing these guys in. Now, I think, is uh, the time to attack. He's going to move in next. Alright, yeah, that chill point really creates an issue. Um, okay, let's take the beatings. Because it's only a matter of time before they get in and uh, um, and are able to capture the city. We just need one. I just brought more just in case they had units, but they really don't. I found it funny. It just said that Rome and Greece had signed a uh, research agreement. I don't know where they have time to be researching anything right now. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Maybe they'll get a promotion out of it, though. Sure. Brings us low on gold, but that's all right. Yeah, it was another thing you guys missed. Um, I suddenly met five separate civilizations, and they all, at the same time, requested to trade for an embassy. And uh, for any of you that have played Civilization, you should know that if you decline that request, they will ask you for the, what seems like the rest of the game. So I went ahead and just accepted. Um, all right. Great, great work. Can't do anything with our artist yet. I wonder why. I don't know what building we can erect for to be able to. That's uh, writing, but these are... Artist. Hmm. Oh, this is... Which city is this? Mumbai. Okay. So, yeah, let's build a bank. And, yes, absolutely. Um, much stronger of a unit. Let's see if we can take advantage of any of these. Because we do, in fact, have an engineer there. All right, in the meantime, let's start landing these units. Oh no, they can't reach. Maybe here? Oh, that's a problem. Okay, well, they're gonna take a, they're gonna take a hit. Maybe if we put enough units out, will make it difficult for uh, Sparta to make a decision on who to attack. Let's see if we could just... Uh... Yeah, there we go. That's kind of a sad scene, isn't it? <laughs> just destroyed uh, uh, two settlers. And they do have long swordsmen. Um, slight issue, but... Nothing to worry about. And look, oh yeah, that's just the Greek Gallia still. Perfect. All right, now he's back. Now let's see if maybe, no. All right, that's going to cause a little bit of an issue if he attacks us. All right, we'll just have him hang out for now. This is going to be an easier town to take um, as well. All 
All right. Oh, forgot about our other pikemen. Should be it. Wow. He destroyed our pikemen. Just with, uh... That city's attacking us. I didn't think that, um... The city was strong enough to do that, but they are. Okay. No matter. Um, a slight bump in the road, but we still have three here. They're going to have to travel one turn. Then he's going to head them off. So we should still be okay. Once we take Gnosis, um, this whole area is going to open up for us. This is great, but we really need to take this out. Um, all right. Is there a, against cities? I don't think there is. Against land units and naval. This will do against land. And it looks like they were attacked. Yeah, but it's kind of our only hope in getting in the city. So let's keep pushing inwards. Right. And one more time, let's just see if they can hit them. There we are. That's going to help. Right, same here. No, okay. Now he has to go back and heal up. So that is what he will do. Continue to harass. Um, no, it says, I don't really know what attacking the unit does, um, or the city, once they're depleted like that. All right. They got a little aggressive with us. And they should not have, because it's going to be almost impossible for them to take out Fersobos with the uh, support I have behind. All right, fortify up. I think what we'll do is we'll just move this frigate all together next turn, because we don't even really need him there anymore with how weak the city is. All right, armory built. Um, well, I suppose we can build some more pikemen. I don't want to waste our uh, iron on long swordsmen. All right, who else needs orders? Heal him. Is there a way to switch units? I don't know if there is. Too bad we can't just swap them. Oh no, did they? Oh, oh, they're still alive. Or no, they're not. It still looks like they are, but they're not. I'm trying to get down there, but. Oh, that hurts. Okay. We have one more healthy unit. Let's hope he can make it. I suppose another thing I can do is. Um, bring the pikemen into the ocean here, but they're not amphibious units, and they might not be strong enough to even take out a, uh, a weak city like Gnosis or Gnosis. Okay. There we go. Well, if we're still trying to take the city out by then, he'll be the pikeman to be successful in the conquest.
All right. And we'll go trade with Azure over there. And like I said, um, city's weak enough for us to just keep attacking with two so we don't get hit by Ephesus. Let's hope he survives. There we go. We'll just continue to bombard. You know, if we can weaken Sparta enough, we could just bring troops in from the north. So that's another option that we can do. All right, we're going to bring him south. I think that's our amphibious unit. No, it's not, but that's okay. We'll still need him. <sighs> Meanwhile, we have a... I think that's a Polynesian... Are. No, it's not Polynesia. Perfect. They attacked the wrong unit. All right, that's our opening. <laughs> Papillonian <laughs> cargo ships witnessing a uh, brutal war <laughs> go on in, in front of them. Bismarck has completed the Taj Mahal. Oh, that's a bummer. We do have a great engineer, so all we need really are um, two turns. Uh, one to click the building, and then our engineer will use his ability, and then just the next turn to get it uh, built. Yeah, we'll just do useful things here. All right. This should be it. There we are. It was difficult, but we have it under our control. Now, all right, let's do the adjacent. What else can we build here? Build the Mughal Fort here. We'll just keep building, uh, well, we can build another uh, cargo ship. Yeah, he's taking quite a bit of damage there. So let's go down and we'll start harassing Ephesus next. Right. Bring him into heal. See how much easier this makes it for us. Uh, before, he would have had to travel all the way eastward. Now we can heal up pretty close to Sparta and uh, just continue to harass them. And then we can even uh, bring in units here. And uh, I thought we could purchase as a puppet, but I guess I'm wrong. That's all right. Nevertheless, bring him south. We really just need the crossbowmen in the city uh, to protect. And uh, uh, we don't really have much of a use for the privateer. Let's bring him around. All right. Things are starting to shape up. Now, I don't really want to completely take Greece over. I just want to take over all of their cities that we can off the coast. I think the last city to take will be Sparta, and then we'll uh, sign a peace treaty with them. And essentially, I think that's kind of my idea for the rest of this game, is if we could just continue to um, harass um, other players and get a bunch of puppet cities that would go a long way in our um, in ensuring our victory
Enemy has been spotted in our territory. Where? Hmm, I wonder where. Maybe uh, in one of our new territories. Yeah, there's an enemy worker there. He's going to improve my terrain. That is the threat. Yeah, this long swordsman will be able to um, go in and do a pretty good job, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, as long as we continue to weaken. I know it's not the best idea, but we'll just keep healing them because it makes it a little easier to continue the attack. All right. He can heal. I'm almost tempted to just bring him up. Um, I guess we'll see how that plays out. Okay, the city's pretty much done for. Um, uh, it's kind of risky just bringing one, but it's very tempting. We'll send him south. That's what we'll do. And, uh, oh, that's our amphibious. No, it isn't. He's still coming on in. Because if he attacked, that's what we need to do. All right. It's getting there, but not yet. Um, I don't really think we need them, but I suppose it doesn't hurt to bring some more units over. Yeah, let's definitely do business. Or do business. Let's definitely trade with. Uh, who is this again? Where does it say? I can't remember who Nebuchadnezzar is. Uh, oh well. All right, let's do a zoo. Just because we can at this point. I guess we'll have him explore. I think it was Civilization 4 or 3 where privateers could attack um, another civilization and not cause war. I always thought that was pretty neat. Wish they'd bring that back. Or, I mean, I could see it um, causing a lot of annoyance to, uh, you know, having someone just run around and pillage and work boats and, and such, but it was kind of an interesting idea at the very least. Right. Um, okay, we have him coming in, and then we have another, our amphibious, uh, our marines, if you will, coming in south. Uh, once they come in, it'll make things a lot easier. Oops, let's see if they ended up. There we go. A policy, okay. Adopting all policies in the piety tree causes a great profit to appear in holy sites, provide culture. Excellent. Okay, now we can move on to the next uh, tree, which in 16 more turns we'll be able to explore that. Uh, we'll grant free technology. So this is for science and this is for gold. We could probably do gold or exploration, I suppose. Yeah, and uh, don't really have much use for him other than just building those to generate more gold and faith. All right. We're going to move him out and heal him once we're able He's just going to have to stand by. Have a new guy go in there and start wreaking havoc. All right. He still has a fair amount of health. 
Okay, it looks like he'll survive that. That is excellent. Yes, okay. Problem solved. Now we have uh, a feces there. So we have um, three of Greece's cities. Now this one, granted, is, is in a poor state. It, um, we maybe even should have raised it, but that's all right. This is a good way to expand our territory uh, by not causing our culture to go up. This is getting closer to being a reality too and taking Sparta. Um, we can maybe come around the mountain. Uh, that's going to incur river penalty, but it might not really matter to be honest. Okay, we'll heal them. We're going to take out this uh, guy right here. All right. Getting very close. I think a trebuchet would be helpful. All right, well, um, he could maybe use one more turn to heal. Um, let's fortify for now. I think we're very close to taking Sparta. Uh, we have a long swordsman. Oh, let's turn him around too. See if we're able to. We have a long swordsman up here and a few knights and pikemen. Um, we're slowly bringing down the, uh, the health of Sparta. I must feel like Athens right now with the better naval fleet in Sparta. Well, they would have the better land uh, force, but clearly they don't right now. Okay. I got him. Um, well, I shouldn't really have done that. Uh, oh, no, it's fine. I thought they might be able to attack them. They can't from there. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Oh, darn. Okay. Do we answer land units? And we'll take out those swordsmen. Wouldn't want to be on that beach. All right, job well done. All right, I think it's time to try and capture Sparta. Okay. Oops, there we are. All right, he's going to go here. He's going to go here. That's going to be a difficult capture, but I think it's possible. All right. Science, let's do gunpowder. Now. Yeah, it looks like we missed all of the wonders, which is disappointing. Opera House is still required in Mumbai and our coastal city. I don't see Abra House. But it does say there, so let's see if they can change. Huh. I think they might need an amphitheater first. Oh, look at that. We get culture as well now, so that's a good uh, thing to have. All right, in go the pikemen. So next turn is going to be the attack. Perfect, so we can create great work. And I think that gets us tourism, yeah, and culture. 
All right, so next turn we should be able to um, should be able to attack Sparta, or rather this turn, because uh, I I sort of forced our hand a little bit to be honest. Let's see if he uh, we'll get a level up, and I could just instant heal him. Hopefully that's the case. Lhasa is in awe. Well, that's great. Um, I don't even know where that city state is. All right. Um, what I'm curious about, and this is something that uh, I was, one of the things I was recording, or I didn't record correctly, but it had mentioned if I have a spy in a city state, one of my religious beliefs is that they will spread my religion, but I don't see it here. Um, it could be because the pressure is so high in the capital. So maybe we'll move him somewhere else. Maybe to Lhasa or something. Or, um, yeah, because these are all capitals. We'll do that instead. Oh, there's Lhasa. I may actually currently have some of our religion. Okay, um, let's just build out the rest of these. Same thing, we'll build an amphitheater here. Okay, so Frigate's going to attack first. Weaken their defenses. Now, I know knights aren't effective, um, but pikemen are a little better. He's quite weak already. Um, let's bring him there. Bring him there. Hmm. It's really not a space for him. We'll bring him out. Bring him there. Now he's probably going to die. Um, okay, perfect. I think we could get it next turn. It could be a turn after that, but it's very close. Oh, um, yeah, we might want to bring a pikeman in here so they don't revolt. All right. Who else can we trade with? Let's trade with, uh, I don't know, maybe that's the Aztecs. And we'll bring him in. Probably be a little too late, but... I find it funny we got a great general and not a great uh, admiral. Because most of the war has taken place on the ocean, but... Uh, oh well. Sometimes it is quite random, I suppose. Or maybe we didn't take out enough of Greece's warships because they didn't have many. I'm not too sure. Okay, that's good news. So they went for... Um, they went for our uh, pikeman that wasn't in a tile to attack anyways. Oops. There we are. That's going to be real close. We might not take it this turn. It might be next turn. Definitely next turn. Maybe this turn. I guess we shall find out. Okay, well, the good news is, is our frigate's going to be able to attack here. So let's do that first. All right, now we'll attack with the units that don't do as much damage, uh, just to get them down as much as possible. Okay. Yeah, so not very effective. Um, yeah, and we'll probably just sacrifice some of these units just to bring it down a little bit. All right, I 
think we're right. Yep, there we are. Okay, we got Sparta. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Whew. Close call, guys. I think we killed their crossbowmen is what happened. Alright, so let's settle for peace with Greece. Peace with Greece. I want your wine. Okay. So guys, I think that we were very successful in the conquest of Greece. We captured four puppet cities. Um, I think this is a good stopping point, but before we stop officially, I think we'll have to figure out our next plan of attack. Babylon's right here. They're much stronger, though. Uh, their defense is higher, for one. And I think they have a, a bigger fleet of soldiers, at the very least. That's Polynesia, I believe. I don't see them here. But you never know what you're getting into. Um... Babylon itself would be very difficult to take. However, Dur Ker Igalazu, oh, I don't think I said that right, is perfect. We could take this city right here. I also think Akkad would be an easy take. Uh, so both of those cities would be good. I'd like to leave the city states alone. There seems to be more of a benefit to having them on your side. Because um, you get all of what they're doing anyways um, for having them with you. Oh, that's right. So yeah, each city or puppet city you own will increase technology costs. So that's probably what's dragged our science down is having all the puppet cities. But I'm sure that's a way to to balance the game out a little bit, but um, yeah, I definitely want to keep doing that. Let me know your guys' thoughts, um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, if my voice can be quieter or louder, I'd also uh, like to know if there's something I can improve on. Please leave it in the comments, and I will follow up promptly. Thank you so much for watching. Have a terrific rest of your day.